welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. One of our regular features. Have a look at the home match day program. So we've got this one to look at today, which is obviously the big game, wasn't it? The 4 3 victory over Real Madrid. Cracking game. Uh, what about the program? Well, there's a couple of good things in it, I must admit. Uh, quite enjoyable. And uh, certainly four pages in there are read avidly from start to finish. So we're going to have a look at that today of the match day home program watch City versus Real Madrid, twenty sixth of April, twenty twenty two. Yep, the normal eighty four pages for three pound fifty. And of course, if you want to subscribe to the City Magazine, you can get it through Reach Sport. So if you go on to www dot dot com. Get 26 issues for £3.25 each, work out at £84.50, so good value for money, i say, say 25p on the being there and getting one at the game. I mean, outside of the UK, the EU, another 65 quid on top, and the rest of the world, another £80 on top, so that's www.reachsportshop.com, so yeah, they're pretty reliable as well, and if any, any do go missing, you just tell them, they usually send you another one out, I've had one or two problems, but... Not recently, uh, just really when the post was really awful a few months back at the start of the season, really. So, yeah, on the cover, we've got, of course, Mr Ilkay Gundogan there. He wasn't required on the night, unfortunately, but at least, at least he got the cover of the programme, didn't he? Uh, Pep's little column, great little quote. We must enjoy it and give everything we have in our soul. If we do that, then we have a chance. Lost it here now. If we have a chance and we'll leave the pitch with no regrets, well said, Pep. Nice, and he sort of does make a little little mention of thanking the supporters for their support as well, which is always nice. In the main interview or article, if you like, he's on Edison in one of his quotes. When I'm under pressure, I always find a way out. It's my style of play. Yeah, telling the fans not to worry too much, that's just how they do it. There's always a line, there's always someone he can pass to. And he talks, of course, about Real Madrid and the fact uh, he's familiar with some of the team. I think they've got five Brazilians playing from, so he would be familiar, wouldn't he? Uh, key start, yeah, interesting one. Uh, passes per match, 25.78 for Mr Edison. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, a piece on the recent induction, of course, of uh, com company and Aguero into the Premier League Hall of Frame. Frame just a, a little page on that. Kevin Cummings talks about his favourite city. Yes, his favourite city in the world. He, he claimed, well, you know, he, he doesn't say definitely. He says probably, possibly uh, Madrid and shares his thoughts and images of Madrid itself. Head to head has Rodri versus Casimiro. He's not too bad, that Casimiro, is he? Uh, this is just the Champions League, of course. Uh, top speed for uh, Rodri, 31.7 km per hour. Uh, for uh, Casimiro, 33.5. Well, it's not the quickest, Rodri, is he? But uh, yeah, looking at some of the stats, yeah, Casimiro is pretty much ahead on them all from what I can see. So, uh, uh, never mind. I think it was just pass, pass completions or something like that. I think Rodri was slightly better, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, he's, he's older, isn't he, Casimiro? He's 31, he's 30, 30 years old. Yeah, he's got a bit, bit on Rodri yet, so you'd expect that. So, interesting head-to-head -head nonetheless. At least he was against comparable players, if you like. Uh, played for both. We have, of course, Adebayor. Played for both. And someone I had to look up. I, I, I always try and find a name I don't remember so much. And we had a, someone called... Ruben Sabrino, who was at City between 2015 and 17, but he spent most of his time loaned out uh, to other clubs, so he never actually made an appearance or substitute appearance or anything for City. And it's a bit of a cheat, really, because he didn't actually play for the Real Madrid first team either. He just played for the B and C team. So, but hey, hey I suppose I suppose they're pushing the boundaries of what they can play for both. But I suppose it's probably true. Blast from the past was our 12-13 matchup. Yeah, where we came so close over. Of course, at their place in 12-13 before we started getting better and better at this Champions League malarkey. Uh, yeah, that was so close so far. So the blast from the past looks back at that for the sort of brief, brief words and uh, some images. Elsewhere in Europe, of course, takes a look at the other semi-finalists. So it obviously takes a, a, a good detailed look at Liverpool and Villa, Villarreal. Quite interesting. And City in Europe, yeah, we have a new book coming out. I'm not sure what, who the authors are of it. City inspired. It's uh, a new book out in August. I think it's all due out in August the 10th, and it's entitled City in Europe. So it looks at all the 
you know, the lows and the highs and the different things, you know, probably fans going on trollers to, to various games, stuff like that. So it's it's about City and the fans in Europe, of course. So obviously looking back uh, out in August, will it have uh, an adventure in May in that, that we might be might sort of finish off that? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think that's the aim, probably. There's probably got a few pages at the end hoping for something in May. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about, do you? Probably. Yeah, we do now, don't we? Yeah, let's, let's hope it's... Uh, well, whatever happens, uh, there's still a section on this year's uh, Champions League uh, matches anyway, Ch- Champions League matchups, etc. So that's a new book out on the 10th of August. Get any more information on that, I'll obviously share it. Gary James, of course, my favourite part of the programme. And he looks back, yes, yeah, so again, a game I was at. It was all well, the second game, wasn't it? The first game, but obviously he looks back at the two-legged Cup Winners Cup semi-final back in 1970 against Schalke, of course, where we lost away 1-0. But obviously, yeah, a 5 1 win at home, hammering. Uh, so, saw us through to the final in Vienna, of course. So, a little, little piece on that. Well, a big piece on that four page. As I said, great, great stuff. Some great images as well. Some, some, some I might have seen and forgot, but some I probably haven't seen anyway. So, there's always some great images from. Gary James, oh, that was my favourite bit of the programme, I'll tell you that now. Uh, what's in a name, uh, Mr Scott Carson? Oh, in the letters, in the, in the word Scott, is for off. Yeah, he's, he only got sent off once as a keeper in his playing career. And that was, interestingly, back in 2007, playing for Villa against United. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was for a foul on Tevez. So yeah, there are links and links there with it. So I like it when it's these little, little quirky facts that sort of have a sort of link to other things. X and the City features Paul Simpson and he talks about City's youngsters and Phil Foden in particular and coaching for England. Apparently said coaching glory for England. So there you go. Find out a little about Paul Simpson and what that entails. Half-time quiz. Answer at the end. Here you go. Here's a good one for you guys. I'll give you the answer in a, in a few moments. Real never won, had never won the European Cup in England. So obviously they've played, but they have played in the UK at two other British venues. So... Have a think. Uh, where can you name the two British venues? Yeah, I, I got that one right. I was quite impressed, but it's, it's not that hard, really. Uh, City women. Jess Park is in a Q and A. Q&A. She was asked who's the loudest of the women on the pitch shouting, and uh, no surprise. I don't watch the girls much or know much about them, but it didn't surprise me the answer. It was of course Steph Horton is the loudest. The under 18s Ben Wilkinson relives uh, relives uh, a seven one demolition of Derby. Yeah, on the twenty third of April, so it was just a few days ago, so he sort of relives, relives that match. And in the EDS, uh, Lavia talks about the family values that took City to the Premier League 2 title, of course. So there you have it. Obviously, uh, Gary James, best bit, best bit in it by a long way, of course, the 1970 Cup Winners' Cup. As I say, it's them great pictures as well, but not, but not a bad issue, not a bad issue for a, a Champions League uh, programme, in all fairness. And before we go, yes, I did ask you a question, didn't I? Did you have, have you guessed it? Have you figured it out? Yeah, it's quite easy, wasn't it? Of course, I was thinking, well, what other grounds are played in the UK? And it's not going to be, it's not going to be the Republic of, it's not going to be Northern Ireland, is it? It's not going to be there. So all you've got left is Amden Park, of course, uh, from the early days. I assume uh, one of their early victories was at Amden Park, as they won it quite about. About 50 times on the trot, didn't you? When it first started out, and of course, the only other thing I could think of was the Millennium Stadium. So, yes, they were the two places that they'd won it outside of England, but in the UK, Hamden Park and the Millennium Stadium. All right, there we go, guys. I say, if you want to subscribe to this, you want to get it, www.reachsports.com. Please uh, go on there and uh, and get that. I say, great value for money, only 325 an issue for a bit of city history. So, what more could we ask? Let me know if you're a collector and any things that took your eye I might not mention or anything of interest. Uh, there's some fans some fans thing in this as well. It's interesting. I got a little tweet off uh, see if I can find it here. I wasn't I was just thinking on it then. I wasn't particularly gonna include this in it, but uh Kavita uh I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Kavita Koff, uh Choff, uh, my 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 um apologies, she's a, a fan from India. And she's actually in the fan section, which I can't find now. I should have prepared it. So there we go. So that little image there, I'll show you in the rather than put it on screen there. There's Kavita there. So she sort of tweeted me just to confirm that she was in it. So obviously I sent her an image of that and sent her that. So she was dead chuffed because uh, she's going to 
by the by this program, of course. On they should get a free one, shouldn't they? It's all these people featured here. It's just, it's just send the free one out. I mean, that's only right, isn't it? I'm surprised he's asked he's asked to uh, to actually buy her own. Very very disappointing, City. Sort yourselves out. But uh, that was nice, and she was quite happy that she featured him, even though they don't mention the name, although it is in the background on the letters on the, on the image. So yeah, so it's uh, it's nice to see. Anyway, that was great. As I said, I was I nearly forgot that. I forgot to mention it. Put it on my script. So I thought I'd mention. It. And uh, happy, happy belated birthday! Now it was a birthday, of course. She, has, she shared the same birthday with City, obviously, which was a few days ago. So happy birthday to uh, a wonderful supporter from India! Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. What is it? Thanks for watching. Come on, City, up the blues. Catch you again soon. Bye for now.